Yeah, for me, I think coming through that that COVID time, you know, I saw a yearning from mm -hmm. our people, uh, those that you know were there when we first were able to offer sacraments outside, and yeah. uh, I'll, I'll never forget uh, this faithful woman who was kneeling, you know, on the on the concrete. Yeah. And uh, tears streaming down her face. She was so joyful mm -hmm. to be able to receive Jesus in that moment. Uh, for me as a priest, it's so inspiring. But yeah. it also always drives home, I think, what a great treasure we have there yeah. in Jesus truly present. No, it's, yeah, it's COVID definitely made so many things harder. But it did bring a lot of, it made us like pull out a desire that maybe we didn't know we had. Um, but yeah, with, with the Eucharist. You know, on campus once, because <laughs> where where the Newman Center is on campus, a few feet away, it's one of the streets, and they were just um, rebuilding or doing something on the street that was to the west of it. And when it was time, you know, I'd show up and kind of be there for mass, but on the outside. But thankfully, the doors were all glass, so you could still kind of see there, see inside. You knew what parts they were in, and they were live streaming at that point, so you could hear it. But before they were able to come out with Jesus, it was me and my friend, and then there was another friend, and then there was another lady, and we would just be out there on the steps, on um, burning hot sun, um, sweating through. And we, if anybody walked by or drove by, you'd just see these four or five people kneeling, facing at a building. And they're like, what are they doing? But if they stuck around to see a little bit longer or hear maybe some of the responses that we had, you know, we we're professing something. We were saying, hey, there's something in there that we want. Sure, we can't have them right now, but there will be a time where we can. And we waited and we came one day, we came the next day. And over time, all of COVID, you know, it was a little, little gathering outside, six feet apart, but you know, a little gathering that was there for Jesus once they were able to bring him out. But it was hard to go through COVID, but it was very beautiful to be able to go through COVID because I think we needed it. I, d I definitely think there is a renewal that's coming out of, you know, our return to the sacraments, yeah. return to mass. And, you know, you mentioned uh, live stream and, I, you know, I think it, it is a good reminder to us of the gift we have in truly being there, yeah. you know, uh, being there, participating in that perfect sacrifice. Uh, for me, it's, it's maybe one of those kind of unknown parts of the Mass that um, is, is for right now, for me, it's one of my missions to help people to understand more about, yes. uh, is to see how we ourselves can also offer sacrifice in union with Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, that we have something to bring. Uh, he's, he's given us that invitation. Um, it's so that our prayer can become perfect, that our praise of God can become perfect. Um, that's, and that's why it's so important uh, for us when we gather together as a family of God for Mass. Mm -hmm. We're gathering together to praise God. Yeah. We're gathering together to celebrate the perfect sacrifice of love. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the gathered there to be instructed by God's Word. We're gathered there to support one another in prayer. But most especially, we're gathered there to be strengthened by Jesus, who's really mm -hmm. there. And then He sends us forth. Yes. And he sends us forth <laughs> so that we can share that, that fruit, that we can share it out in the world. Mm -hmm.